Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Fortnite for the Season 5. Uh, we're going to use three different tricks in this video. So uh, first of all, make sure if you, you you use my previous guide, Season 4, 3, etc. Maybe you should uninstall your game and just reinstall it. Uh, a lot of patch w went on in this game and you did a lot of change. So honestly, you should just remove everything and just reset back if you feel like your game is not running smoothly anymore. Uh, a lot of people are saying, yeah, with all the, the different patches, now the game is, is slaughtered a bit. So this is the first step that maybe you should do. Just uninstall everything and reinstall the game. So let's start. First of all, the place that you install the game, so me, it's in my G drive, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. You're gonna look at the four launcher here, right click on it, properties, compatibility. Uh, two things that you need to do. You need to disable full screen optimization and the other one is override high DPI scaling behavior. Click this one. Make sure that you're doing the same thing for the, those four Fortnite icon over there. Good. After that, we're gonna add some set launch option. Yes, you can do that in Epic Games Launcher. It's not just on Steam. So you click here, settings. You click additional command line argument. And here you can add a uh, common. I'm using four different common here. Use all available core, no splash, no texture streaming. And the other one is prefer processor. This is the number of cores that you have on your uh, CPU. If you don't know, you can Google it, like uh, the name of your CPU, and you will probably go on some Intel website or AMD. But if you want to see it quickly, you can uh, press Control Alt Delete Task Manager, go to Performance, click on your CPU, and here number of core, oops, cores you see here. I have four. Uh, some people will have six, eight, depending on your CPU, even two. So uh, just use that number over there. After that, copy paste this, put it in your command line argument and you just click there. So now let's open the game. So now we are in the graphic setting of the game. Uh, this is pretty much what I'm using right now. So first of all, make sure that window mode, uh, you're using full screen. I saw some uh, difference between borderless and wind where window window and mode uh, and I'm normally I lose two or three FPS when I'm not playing full screen so make sure you're playing full screen resolution we will talk about it uh, at the end of the video with the 3d resolution but th those ones are really important if after all the change that you will make uh, and all the other change with the set launch option etc you still don't add your 60 or your 144 FPS uh, you you should touch your resolution so let's start. Uh, first of all, shadows. This is the one that you need to remove. Uh, you will gain three to four FPS for each bracket. So this one is really important. You can play. You can put it medium if you still want to see the shadow because you want to know if an enemy is in I don't know is in the in the house or whatever. But if you remove it, you will see that your game is a lot smoother and uh, you will gain a lot of stability in your FPS also. View distance. This one is kind of pain in the ass because you know you want to see in front of you. So I'm putting at medium because near, uh, you don't see very far, honestly. So um, just use something like medium uh, and you should be fine. For sure, if you have an integrated uh, video card or a low-end uh, computer, just play at near. After that, until easing, um, honestly, you should use medium because if when you put it at off, yeah, you will gain more FPS, but you will see a lot of line breaking and sometimes you will think that Oh, maybe it's an enemy over there, but no, it's just because you don't have anti-aliasing. So you should use something like medium. But again, if after all the change, you still don't have your 60 FPS, you will need to put it at off. Texture, this one is, it depends on your VRAM on your video card. So if you have something like 3 gig and more, you can play I or even Epic. If you have something like 2 gig, play at medium. And if you have a video card with 1 gig or less, play at low. Really important. Effects. Effects, you will not see uh, a big improvement when you uh, decrease this one, when you just walk on the map. But when you will fight, you will see that you will gain a lot of FPS. And not just necessarily gain, but 
stay with the current FPS that you had when you were just walking in the map. So it's more about your stability uh, of your FPS. So you should play something like low, really important. Honestly, you will see a big difference when you're fighting. So uh, to not have like some crazy 10 or 15 FPS drop. So this one put it at low. Post-processing, I saw two FPS for each bracket. I'm playing at medium, but honestly, you can even put low. Uh, you don't see a lot of difference between both. But uh, me, I have a pretty good rig, so I don't really care about it. So yeah, that's about it. The three last option, V-Sync, make sure that you're putting this one at off. You don't want any input lag and also you want to unlock your FPS. So really important. I'm removing motion blur because you don't want to play motion blur, a competitive game like Fortnite. Uh, it feels like a bit like blurry when you move left to right, so you don't want to use that. And also you will gain a bit of uh, FPS. It's a bit weird. I, I got like two FPS uh, increase when I remove it. And the last one is show FPS, put it at on because you want to see your FPS. So now let's talk about resolution. If after all the thing that I showed you, you still don't have your 60 or your whatever 120 or 144 because you have like a high refresh rate the monitor, you should definitely touch your resolution. Before touching the 3D resolution, you should touch the display one. So play something like 720p. Uh, you will see a big increase here with your FPS because you're lowering your resolution. And last resort, you can touch the 3D resolution and put something like 90%. This is pretty much the maximum because you will see the game when you dec decrease that. The game is a bit like blurry and you will see some pixel in it. Uh, it's pretty bad actually. Even 90 is not that great. You should like do something like 95. But this is last resort. So you can go until like whatever you need. But you will see a big increase on your FPS. But a big decrease on your image quality. So that's about it guys. If you have any questions. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. Uh, with your question. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace.